Agreement Committee to felicitate the newly enrolled advocates. Please sir. Very good evening to all. Most respected Lordship, Honorable Mr. Justice G. K. Alamdirian, Judge High Court of Madras, our Chairman Mr. P. S. Amal Raj, Bar Council of Tamil Nadu Puducherry, Mr. A. R. L. Sundar Asin, Senior Advocate, Addition Services to General of India, Mr. Velu Karthikeyan, Vice Chairman, and Mr. Balu, Chairman, Enrollment Committee. Mr. Marapan, Co-Chairman, Mrs. Priscilla Pandian, Executive Committee Chairman, and Mr. Talal Mutharasu, Member Bar Council of Tamil Nadu Puducherry, Mr. Rajendra Kumar, Member, and Mr. Kanman, who have moved the endowment. Very good evening to one and all, everyone. My best wishes to the new entrants who have got enrolled as an advocate in this Bar Council of Tamil Nadu and Puducherry. On behalf of the Bar Council and the Enrollment Committee, we wish you all a very success in this career and you all should be very grateful to having been enrolled as an advocate and you all know that this is a very noble profession and this is the only profession we call as a learned profession and there is no retirement in this profession. You can practice till you have a last breath in your life and in this profession you can achieve a greater the sky is the limit they mentioned that there is no limit for this profession so only thing you need to do is you should hard work you should be honest in this profession and you all would have undergone the subject professional ethics in your law course and in that it would have been mentioned that you have a duty to court and you should be having a duty to your client, your duty to your opponent counsel and your, you have to maintain a decorum and discipline in the court hall and what you need to do is you need to observe in the initial days when you get, whenever you get time you sit and observe in the court hall so listen to how the proceedings are happening and in your initial days you start practicing in the lower court then only you will come to know the sufferings of the litigant, the litigant public. So when you come to higher judiciary like, like high court, then you will be able to understand the pain which the litigant public is undergoing. And one other thing is, you all should be very thankful to your parents for providing you this life and giving good education and you should be thankful to your family members and friends who have been a supporting factor in all your life till you have reached this position. You should be thankful to your institution for providing a seat in a law college and you should be thankful to your teachers and professors from the school days to till today. And other thing is, you need to be very obedient and you should respect your seniors. So whenever your seniors enter the court hall, if they are struggling to have a seat, you should provide them a seat, respect them and when you enter the court hall with a brief, you just go through the brief with at least you know the facts. Like I achieved just today, Many of the judges, they encourage the juniors to appear before them. So, you will be able to represent the case only if you have knowledge about the fact. And I wish you all a very success in your career and a happy Christmas and New Year. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for your felicitation, sir. Now I request Mr. Marapan, co-chairman of the Bar Council, to first the end entrance, please, sir.